My name is Richard Bruce Eels. I'm originally from Philadelphia. I hiked the AT when I was a kid. Now I'm going to retire and I can't think of anything better to do to kill six months. <laughs> I uh, intend on doing a flip-flop starting in Roanoke. The reasons why I'm 60 years old, I won't be able to collect Social Security until I'm 62, so I need to find something meaningful to do, reset my life, get out from behind a desk, off of my fat butt, watching TV, eating pizza. I also plan on living in an RV when I retire. I think this would be a, a great way to reset my life. I think after seven or eight months, nine months on the trail, living in an RV will be, uh, will be like heaven. Tune in. Thanks, Zach, for the opportunity. Catch you all later. Alrighty, we have gotten to Scout and Frodo's. Here's Courtney. Nice. Hi. Yeah. Wow. He's only around at the terminal. Wow. Take care. Yeah, you too. I don't know what mile we're at, but we found a stream. Yeah, it's getting hot. My face is really red, and but it's pretty green. Snug. This is not a two-person tent. <laughs> It's just a little snug. <laughs> uh, we are at Hauser Creek. Gonna try to make it up that hill. Morale is high. Courtney has just sung us the 50 state song. 50, 50, United States from 13, blah, blah, blah. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. We're around mile 30, and we've just witnessed our first act of trail magic. We are now in a car. We did some manual labor in exchange for dinner. We just finished and the lovely woman gave us her car to drive back to the place that we'll be sleeping in. So we're hoping Joe actually does have a license. We're at mile 60 right now. It's very windy. This is what we're working with tonight. It's going to be a treat. I don't think it's going to stay up all night to be honest. I think it's going to blow away with me in it. We're at mile 62 and... Not 22. Uh, yeah, not 22. We've come farther than that. I'm admiring this downhill that's yeah. coming up. Uh, we are on mile 74? Four? We've lost all energy along with all will to live. <laughs> Joe over here, who doesn't get exhausted, mm -hmm. is just fucking smelling flowers. We've got another mile and a half. I can't fathom walking another mile and a half, but <laughs> seems like it's gonna happen. Wobbling to the campsite. Joe, we can't even see him anymore. He seems to not understand that when you walk a certain amount of miles every day, it's supposed to make you sore. You're supposed to get blisters. You're supposed to not feel too great. Not even using his trekking poles, not even breaking a sweat. It's originally Earthquake Valley. I like the name better. <laughs> but the realtors didn't like it, so they, yeah. We've made it to Julian. Got our free pies. Yeah. Hitchhiking basics right here. I got the thumb out. Courtney's got the wave. And we told Joe to go high. <laughs> yes! Crossing Fontana Dam now, going into the Smokies. It's pretty awesome out. I'm in the Smokies. The Smokies have not been kind to us. Been having some problems with my shoes for a while. It got so bad, I just had to take it off. So now, that's happening. I'm kind of really hoping the uh, <laughs> the croc thing works out. Man, this horse is gorgeous. Love me some piney woods. But right now, I guess the, the hiker hunger is finally starting to kick in. You're not packing tortillas in your lunch. You're kind of just wrong. They're amazing. The energy gel thing I'm about to try is probably going to be gross. Maybe I should wrap a Snickers in a tortilla. Ooh. Behold, the mighty views from Klingman's Dome. <laughs> We're just like misty, primordial morning. But uh, I've embraced the two croc life. Yeah. Climbing Max Patch. I mean, it's pretty gnarly. away or so from hot springs. The snow is horizontal, which is 
great. Feels great. Truth be told, we all kind of thought we were done with this sort of thing. I'd really hope to send them home in hot springs. Have my warmer weather quilt sent to me, but uh, maybe I'll hold on to these a little longer. This sucks. First big thunderstorm. Crazy lightning all night, but can't really beat the uh, morning after a thunderstorm. We can't go all the way up the tower, it's locked, but man. Alright, so I'm a couple of days out of hot springs. Walked into town right into the Laughing Heart Hostel. Nice place though, I'd recommend. Hamster and I sang drunken karaoke with Jeff, the manager. Really excited to get to Damascus, man. I want to dump all this cold weather gear. Pounds of crap. The morning we were walking out, his father walks by with his kids and he looks at us and goes like, Daddy, they're pirates. And we all had a good laugh at that. We're like, you know, all haggard and dirty, giant beards, crazy hair, bandanas, sunglasses, whole nine yards, hippie pirates. Probably like my second night, I think. Actually, just doing the whole stealth camping thing. Here's some of my ginger tea. I'm eating a whole block of cheddar cheese. It's so good.